The critical hit chance and critical rating options in Fortnite Save the World can be a little confusing, something that I saw in comments to some of my most recent videos, so I am trying to explain those a little bit in this video. Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, and welcome to another one of my Fortnite videos. The critical rating compared to the percent additional chance to critical hit is shown here. 10 critical rating gives you 12.5 additional chance to crit. You must be very patient. 30 gives you 28% and 60 crit rating only gives you 41%. What this means is that the first critical rating that you get gives you a huge boost and like massive increased chance to crit, but the last ones give you much less. And in this video here, I'm going to demonstrate how that works on a few different weapons. And also like digging into some of you guys thought these things were additive, but they're not. The first thing that I have here is an Argon Assault Rifle. It is level 1 and it has a base critical hit chance of 15%. And when it reaches level 5, it will gain additional 10 crit rating. So the things the weapon has from the start have nothing to do with the perks these things are added to each other so what we can see here is that when we have 10 critical rating we gain 12.5 percent chance to crit so that is pretty cool we get more than one percent additional chance to crit for every crit rating and the next step in the weapon is to go up to a 15 critical rating system i'm not gonna do that because i have loads of these and i have one here with an additional it's somewhere nearby. 5 crit rating and what we can see is that it gives us additional 5% chance to crit compared to the first weapon. So the next step on the list is of course to go up to a 20 critical rating and what we can see with that on this weapon is that when I level it up and evolve it to unlock the 20 critical rating I will only be gaining 4% additional chance to crit compared to the previous weapon. What this means is that the first 10 gave us 12.5% chance to crit, the next 5 critical rating gave us 5%, but these 5 only give us a 4% chance to crit, which means that we're getting less and less chance to crit for every critical rating that we are gaining. And the ideal thing for most weapons is to only use one perk because you really get a lot less. Every weapon has a different starting setup. The Nocturno here has a 10% chance to crit, but this one, the Silent Spectre, has 20%, which is pretty crazy because if you remember the list at the start of the video, you could see that the second perk that you went completely fully legendary perk up would give you only 13% additional chance to crit, and the Silent Spectre has 10% more than, for instance, the Siege Breaker. So in that alone, it has almost a free perk of crit rating built into how the weapon works. And this is something you need to keep a little bit of an eye on in regards to what perks you select for your weapons, depending on your playstyle. So anyway guys, that was pretty much what I had to share in this video, how the critical hit rating works compared to the weapon's chance to critical hit. Of course, we have hero support and tactical options that can affect these things as well. But in terms of the perks and the weapons, this is how the crit rating works. If you're new to the channel and want to support, be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date with all the amazing goodies. For now guys, and as always, thank you very much and very much for watching.